What's up guys, this is Autobyte Master Race, and today I want to show you how to undervolt your GPU. I recently got my new RTX 3080, and I wanted to see how I can maximize its performance without breaking the electricity bank, because I saw this GPU draws an insane amount of power from the wall, which is around, uh, let me go check my data real quick, 325 to 340 watts when I'm using the stock settings. When I OC in a traditional manner, I have around 340 to 360 watts drawn from the wall. And that's just a 3080, right? So anyone with a 3090, you're going to look at around 400 watts if you just OC that thing a little bit. Anyway, so I ran a bunch of tests and this is the result for stock settings. You're looking at 13,891. Max GPU temperature was 65 degrees, right? So I just want to show you very quickly how to undervolt your GPU. This applies to all GPUs, although you're going to, you're going to look at different uh, numbers than me. So keep that in mind that you need to play around with the numbers and find the right voltage for your card. So this is the stock setting, right? So you go into MSI Afterburner. You're going to just reset everything that you've done before. Make sure that you save it in the profile before if you haven't done that. And first thing you're going to do is you're low, going to lower the base frequency of the card by 300 megahertz. This is for the 30 series. You're going to hit apply. And then you're going to click control F. And this brings up the voltage, voltage frequency curve editor. Now you can see the original graph right in here. Uh, basically, what we did is we decreased that original curve by 300 while maintaining the yeah, the way the curve looks, right? So you can also do this by shift clicking any point here. Just hold shift and then drag it. I like to do this in a more digital manner because I have OCD and I don't like uneven numbers like 269, if you get what I mean. So hit apply. And now you're going to try to find your voltage point at which frequency you want to run the card at. Uh, I'm fine with stock settings, meaning around 1850, 1850 megahertz for the RTX 3080. And you're going to look at anywhere between 800 millivolt to 850 millivolt, depending on how good or bad your GPU is. Uh, if you have like a golden sample, you might be able to go even lower, but this is like around where you're going to be at. So for me, I'm looking at one sec, uh, 0.837 millivolts. So now I'm just going to grab this point and draw it up to the stock frequency, 1851. Now, the thing is, this is not going to be the same for everyone, right? This is around the base clock of the card. Some clock, uh, some cards, maybe clock like 10, 20 megahertz higher. Um, this is going to be around where you're going to find the stock clock at. So you're going to just exit this, hit apply. If you go back into it, you can see that the curve changed. Uh, it's never going to surpass that point now, but it's also never going to go higher in voltage. So I was able to achieve, uh, on top of that, I was able to achieve a 1000 megahertz memory overclock. Hit apply. And now we're going to look at some data again. So this is the stock setting, benchmark super precision at 4K. And this is the traditional overclock. So I applied a plus 50 on the core and a plus 1000 on the memory. And this is stock, so we didn't increase the memory but we're looking at 0.831 volts, millivolts. And we're already higher than stock. And now we're looking at my settings, which is 0.837 volts plus 1000 megahertz on the memory. And we're looking at 14,371 and we're five degrees cooler on average, right? And also, if you look at the data here, I made a nice little text data file. 
you can see the power draw that you get on average in this benchmark. So stock, you're getting 325 to 340. When I OC in a traditional manner, I get around 340 to 360. And when I undervolt and stay at stock, I'm at 250 watts, which is insane. You're gonna cut around 80 to 100 watts. Um, so I'm fine with that. If I just add a little bit more due to the fact that I need to increase or that I wanted to increase my memory by one gigahertz, I added like a slight little voltage on top of that, just to be sure. And we're drawing a maximum of 270 watts. Anyway, I hope this helped a little bit. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, maybe leave me a like. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.